I spent three years waiting to feel ready. Three years. And you know what happened? I'm still not ready, but I'm also shipping products, building systems, and getting paid to code. So clearly ready isn't what I thought it was. When I started learning to code, I thought there was some secret threshold I needed to cross. Like at some point a switch would flip and I'd feel competent. I watched the confident developers in my bootcamp and wondered what they knew that I didn't. Were they just naturally gifted? Did they study harder? Did they have some productivity system I was missing? So I asked one of them, and his answer broke my brain. He said, dude, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just keep learning and hoping nobody notices. That's when I realized something. The good developers weren't the ones who felt ready. They were the ones who moved forward anyway. So let's talk about why you'll never feel ready, and more importantly, why that's actually the point. First, there's this thing I call the knowledge paradox. The more you learn about programming, the more you realize how much you don't know. It's like you're climbing a mountain, right? Except the higher you climb, the bigger the mountain becomes. When you're a beginner, you don't know what you don't know. So you feel confident, you think, I learned loops, I can code. Then you learn about databases and suddenly loops feel tiny. Then you learn about systems design and databases feel tiny. Then you learn about infrastructure, networking, security, and you realize you're standing at the bottom of an actual ocean. And here's the thing, that feeling doesn't go away, it gets worse. Every level of competence just reveals new levels of ignorance. So you're never going to wake up one day and think, yeah, I'm good, I know everything. That day doesn't exist. And if you're waiting for it, you're going to wait forever. But here's what's weird. That feeling, that's actually proof you're thinking right. Because the developers who feel completely ready are usually the ones who should never be trusted with anything important. They don't know enough to know what they don't know. You, on the other hand, can feel the weight of your own incompetence. And that awareness is actually your superpower. I learned this concept from a book called The Mythical Man Month, where Fred Brooks talks about expert intuition. Essentially, the more you know, the more you understand the complexity of the problem. Beginners think everything is simple because they haven't seen the pitfalls yet. Experts know better. So that anxiety you feel, that's expertise talking. That's your brain going, wait, this is actually hard. I need to be careful here. That's not weakness, that's growth. But if you feel like a fraud, you're probably exactly where you should be. Even the creator of Python had imposter syndrome, so what hope do we have? Which brings me to the actual point. Every developer who's actually good started unprepared. They didn't wait for the perfect moment, they didn't feel ready, they just started building something and learned as they went. Because here's the thing, being ready is a trap, it's an excuse. It's you telling yourself, I'll start when I'm perfect. But perfect never comes, so you just keep waiting, you keep learning, you keep preparing, and you never actually build anything. I know this because I did it for three years. I was going to be ready. I was going to learn this framework, then that framework, then systems design, then microservices. And then one day I just said, forget it. I'm going to build something stupid. Something that nobody asked me to build. Something that had no practical value. And it was the best decision I ever made because that's when I actually learned. So here's what I want you to do. Stop waiting. You're not going to feel ready. Build something. Make it terrible. Ship it anyway. Break it. Fix it. Learn from it. You know what holds developers back? Not lack of talent. It's thinking you're bad at problem solving. Brilliant changes that. It transforms how you think about logic, math, and systems, the foundations of coding. And suddenly, concepts click. Here's what I love about Brilliant. It doesn't lecture you. You solve problems. Real interactive problems that build intuition. Algorithmic thinking course made me a better debugger because I mastered designing algorithms, the key to solving problems with computers. What makes Brilliant different is it's personalized. It meets you where you are and adapts as you grow. You're already capable. Brilliant just unlocks what's inside you. To start learning free, go to brilliant.org slash shade of code or click the link below. You'll get 20% off an annual premium subscription with unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.